up all my five fans so we got ourselves conor mcgregor pretty much doing what conor mcgregor does best and that's trash talk he is trashing so many fighters he's trashing kamara usman Ilya Taporia, um habib namargamedov uh um is on makachev i mean he's going on a rampage pretty much trashing everybody the guy says he wants to be active he wants to go three fights this year he wants to fight in january he wants to fight in september and then he wants to fight possibly in november or december good god this guy wants to be busy i mean rightfully so he's been gone for quite some time he's been gone for a little over uh, i want to say what three years now um so yeah he's gonna definitely definitely you know try to get his mind out and try to pretty much put himself right back into place you know because he's also wanted to go title contention as well he's talked about going after that bmf belt he's talked about going after the welterweight belt he's talked about going after the lightweight belt he wants all the belts he wants all the gold so he's definitely gonna do his best to get get himself out there get his name out there even though he doesn't ever need that because we all know conor mcgregor is the superstar of all superstars the guy is massive the guy's always big the guy's always Always must see TV for sure. So, but at the end of the day, we all know that's Conor McGregor's pretty much mindset, mentality. He's always about trash talking. He's always about tweeting. He's always about making people um, put eyes on him, all eyes on him, all attention on him. You know, so he's gonna definitely have some um, not so pleasant uh, comments re from other fighters that he has already trash talked. But you know, hey, we all—it's all about showing up. It's all about seeing what you can actually do, seeing what you're capable of, because. All these fighters have been busy. You know, they've been winning championships. They've been, you know, defending their belts and such like that. They've been really doing their best to be active. But Conor McGregor's been hurt. So now it's a little bit of a different story. Now it's all about, hey, are you going to show up to fight Chandler? And how are you even going to do against Chandler? So we all got to wait and see till June 29th to see how Conor McGregor actually does and what actually transpires within that fight. You know, if Conor McGregor looks great, then we I could definitely see Conor McGregor going after um, multiple belts, I could definitely see Conor McGregor, um, being a number one contender right away, because of how big of a superstar he is, but if he loses, then I can't really see much for him, I can only see pretty much your big time show fights, I guess you could say, fights like maybe against, obviously, the Nate Diaz part three, or maybe even Jorge Masvidal, or, yeah, who knows who else, but I don't see if he does lose against Michael Chandler, or if let's see how he does against Michael Chandler, it all about it all depends on. Um, it will tell us if he's in title contention. What um, if not? You know, title contention. Title contention. If he's able to fight for the belt, but we all gotta wait and see, guys. So let me know in the comments what do you think about Conor McGregor's return. Let me know. I think about what his mindset's been looking like, how he wants to fight three times in a row, and how he wants to trash talk all his opponents. Just let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.